Next, you take the grid that came with whatever hoop you're working with and figure out where you want it on the towel. So I'm gonna want it a little bit from the bottom and then centered. So like if this was hanging on an oven door um, or even if you folded it in and only had this part of the towel showing, um, the design would be nice and centered. So I just use a tape measure to figure out the center. Now that I have my spot where I want to put the design, now I use the disappearing ink fabric marker and just the little circles that are cut out in this plastic grid, I just stick the marker right in there to make some little dots. And then I use a ruler to make some crosshairs. This marker will go away with water. It'll go away when you put it in the washing machine. Um, and then also I like to use a tie pin when I'm done to, to make sure that it's completely off. So now that we have our placement for our towel, I'm gonna set that aside. And now I'm gonna take the hoop that we're working with today. So I'm doing a five by seven. This particular design comes in both um, four by four and six by 10. So whatever kind of machine you're working with, if you have a smaller machine or if you have a bigger machine and have the capability of doing it larger, uh, the design comes in several sizes. So this knob here adjusts your hoop for the, how tight the inner hoop fits in it. So since I'm only using a piece of stabilizer, I have it set to be tight. So I'm just gonna take this stabilizer, I cut it to be bigger than the hoop so there's some overhang on all sides and then just place the hoop inside. And push it in and make sure that it is flush. So the stabilizer should be nice and taut and you can adjust the bottom if it needs to be tightened anymore. So now I take my grid, I place it back in to my hoop and I do the same thing again. I use my marker, I find my placement, and make crosshairs. Okay, so, Next, use some uh, spray adhesive, some temporary spray adhesive, and spray um, the stabilizer. Uh, be careful not to do this around your machine. You don't wanna get adhesive sprayed everywhere, so I have my machine on a totally different table, so I'm just gonna spray right here. You can also stick this in, like, inside of a grocery bag, or if you have like a little cardboard box, so every time you spray, it kinda catches any overspray and keeps it from getting on anything. So, now we are ready to float the towel on the hoop. So, uh, just leave your hoop here, grab your dish towel, and then kind of lay it on top of the hoop. And then I take the two wide parts with my fingers here and kind of place it right where the dots are on my hoop, just looking by eye. And then I just follow my, uh, my marker is already gone away. Let me do this again. I think I have a newer marker. I think that one's starting to fade. There we go, that's better. I need to throw away. This is my good one. Okay, so now I can see a little bit better. Um, just kind of use your fingers as place marks for the side dots and just push them right on top of the hoop and then lay it down and it should lay right 
on top of your placement marks and just play around with it. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just get it as close as you can without driving yourself crazy. <laughs> and I could look here and see my line and this line is on top and this dot is lining up with this one. And I'll double check the top and make sure that this one is lining up nicely. And same with the sides. Okay, so once you get it in the spot that you want, just kind of rub it so the spray adhesive. And then I have the water soluble topper. I just kind of place on top and then use some pins to pin it down. And if you notice where these dots are, that's your sewing field. That's all the places your needle can go. So I'm gonna place my pins outside of the sewing field so there's no chance that my embroidery machine needle will hit that on accident. And this helps further secure your dish towel to the hoop since you don't actually have it um, hooped. It's just floating on top of the spray adhesive. Okay, so now that we have the dish towel all um, hooped and ready to go, um, now we can go and place it on the machine.